So this week's assignment is on the probability of compound events. So let's work through some of the problems from the homework and give you some examples. So the first one, number one, says find a situation, or for each situation, find the sample space. So all we're doing is, is figuring out the sample space. You can use a chart, you can use a tree diagram, or you can use a list. Okay, so for number one, it says choosing an ice cream cone from waffle, plain, or sugar, and then a flavor of ice cream from chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. So we have two different things that are working um, together to give us a outcome. So let's go ahead, the first one, let's do it as a um, table. So we have waffle cones, we have plain cones, and we have sugar cones. Okay, so we have three things there. Then, for our choices of ice cream flavors, we have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. All right, so we could have a waffle cone with chocolate ice cream. We could have a plain cone with chocolate ice cream. We could have a sugar cone with chocolate ice cream. We could have a waffle cone with vanilla, a waffle cone with, oh, sorry, a plain <laughs> with vanilla, and a sugar cone with vanilla. We could have a waffle cone with strawberry, a plain cone with strawberry, and a sugar cone with strawberry. So those are all of our different outcomes. So that is our sample space. Let's go ahead and skip to number three. It says now we're making a sandwich from white, wheat, and rye bread. We have a choice of cheddar or Swiss cheese. And then we have ham, turkey, or roast beef. So the first thing we have is white, wheat, or rye bread. So this one has three different choices. So let's try a tree diagram with this one instead. So we have white bread. We have wheat bread. And we have rye bread. Now, the next thing is cheddar or Swiss cheese. So each one of these has two choices. So we could have cheddar, or we could have Swiss. With the wheat bread, again, we could have cheddar or Swiss. And with the rye bread, we could have cheddar or Swiss. And then for the choices of meat, we have ham, turkey, or roast beef. So with white bread and cheddar, we could have either ham, turkey, or roast beef, I'm abbreviate that. The next one, again, we have three choices here. We'll use H for ham, T for turkey, and RB for roast beef. For this cheddar here, we have three choices again. Ham, turkey, roast beef. Three choices here. Ham, turkey, roast beef. Three choices for the cheddar. Ham, turkey, and roast beef. And three choices for this last one. So kind of got tight in there, but we have a choice of ham, turkey, roast beef. Let's go ahead and circle all the different choices here because this will give us how many outcomes we could actually have. So we should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So there's 18 possible outcomes of sandwiches.
Okay, so 18 possible. So go ahead and work on number two and four on your own. And let's go ahead and look at the bottom part. Number five and six, we're doing the same thing, but this time we're going to be finding a probability at the end. Okay, so number five, it says rolling two number cubes. We want to know the probability of rolling doubles. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a chart again for this one. And we know that a number cube has six sides, one through six. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. And the other cube is going to have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's go ahead and make our table. Okay, so I'm going to get you started on your chart. And then I'm going to let you finish it for homework. So in the first one, we would roll a one and a one. So that's a double. Okay, so in the end, we wanna know how many doubles we have. On the next one here, we would roll a one and then a two. The next one, we'd roll a one and then a three, one, then a four, one, then a five, and one and a six. For the next row, we would start by rolling a two, so right here, two, and then a one, then we'd have a two and a two. So, so far, you just continue that two and then a three, two and a four, and so on. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and finish filling out your chart and then at the end, you wanna know how many possibilities you have. Well, from the chart, we know we have six times six. There are 36 sections in here so we're going to have 36 possibilities and so you want to know how many of those are going to be doubles so so far we have two so you're going to have to finish filling out your chart and then you want to know how many out of 36 and that will give you your probability of rolling doubles so number six i would do the same way using a chart it's probably going to be your easiest